Hello, uh, welcome. Hello, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button. I'm putting out these tutorial videos on the survival game Dark and Light. Uh, this video is going to be about mounts, mount selection, and the importance of mounts in the game. So early game, what you're going to want to do is one of the very first things you're going to want, going to, want to tame. Get some bunch of hooks and hooks and uh, stone hook arrows, and go tame a. Barunda or a wyvern. I would, I, pref I would say a Barunda is probably better because it has a little bit more health than the the wyverns do, and a little bit more carry weight definitely than the Bur than the wyverns do, which is going to help you farm easier in early game. Uh, but definitely one of the very first mounts you want to get is a Barunda, or a, yeah, I would say a Barunda. The other one of the very first mounts you need to get is a Kibo, which are good for uh, farming and they're good for an early early game pretty tanky mount you're definitely going to want to get one of those as soon as you can start crafting the uh, elemental or get someone ask somebody in chat if they have elemental uh, soul stone you're going to want to get one of these guys you're going to want to get one of these ice imps that you actually find at the mountains the ice imps are refrigerators, so if you put something inside of them, it slows the decay. So this decay in two minutes, and I put it in here, and it will decay in, in like two hours. What is it? Almost two hours. So it's definitely one of the things you're going to get early game and keep on hand uh, to keep your food and your materials that decay from decaying. Like it's a very important part of the game about uh, uh, keeping your longevity up your survivability so you're going to want to get a Burunda mid game one of the very first things you're going to want to do as soon as you can you're going to want to get a griffin so obviously we still have griffins griffins are good in the game they have good uh, decent carry weight at 2000 this one's at level 165 it has like 2000 carry weight of 2500 health and stamina we've been putting been putting points into stamina too uh because stamina is, is pretty important for mounts, so you can sprint and not have to go super slow across the map. So getting getting a, a mid-game, early to mid-game, you're going to want to get a, a, a Griffin. And they're pretty solid throughout the game and were our workhorse for a very long time. A, another strategy or another thing you can do is get the... Uh, a Nidhogg or Banshee. The problem with that is that it takes a long time to be able to unlock the saddles. So even if you're grinding out saddles, you're going to be in your 50s. Like you're going to be level in the levels in the 50s before you can make the... I still can't. I still don't think I can make the uh, Nidhogg saddle. So you either have to buy it off the vendor or have like my brother grind it out all the saddles. So he can, we can make them all. Or you can get a... I mean you can try to get drops from like meteorites and from killing dark creatures but yeah not gonna, it's not gonna happen it's gonna be it's incredibly rare that you're gonna see a nid a nig hog saddle drop and actually do i even have one no like i just have a craftable saddle so all right but i, I like this this is actually still my main mount even even in-game content like this i still prefer my banshee over the uh the griffins that we have and Let's see, I'm 189, this is 198. We're about the same carry weight. I have a little bit more carry weight. I have quite a bit more health and less stamina. But I prefer the Nidhogg. Uh, I definitely, I prefer it because of this little trick. If you do the power spin move, it boosts you forward, just like the, uh, the Pterodactyl did on Ark, or does on Ark, which helps to get you across the map a lot faster, but you have to watch... It eats up your stamina. So you're basically going to go from Barunda or Wyvern, if you choose so, Barunda to Griffin, and you're going to keep with the Griffin for a while until you can get a Banshee. Pretty important mounts. So for ground mounts, you're going to want to start out with a Kibo, and really just that's really all you need. You can get, if you want mushrooms for like cooking, then you're going to want to get a boar. Because that's really the only way to get mushrooms, and the most consistent way to get mushrooms. Especially, like I think, the uncommon mushrooms... You can't grow them. The only way to get them is with a boar. 
definitely one of those. You also do the, this does the exact same thing. The big ones do the same thing. You can tame it the same way with the just getting their health low and hitting them with the uh, soul stone, the elemental stone. All right, so early, mid-game, you're definitely going to need those. Treants are good for combat. Like if you're a raider, you're going to want to get a treant to uh, like a war treant, basically. You're going to pump uh, his points into his health to soak up damage from turrets if you're raiding people or uh, other creatures or whatever it is. That's one of the reasons that, or that's one of the things that they're good for. Do not, so they're supposed to accelerate growth. They're supposed to be good, which is why they're standing on top of my farming plots. They're supposed to be good at increasing your yield, your crop yield. They do not work. Do not do that. All it does is deplete your fertilizer at an incredibly annoying rate. It's like 70 or 80% depletion on fertilizer. I had planted life essence. I had life essence fertilizer in the uh, all along where he's standing. And it's about two tiles wide where his effect goes. And it, I got like three days when I should have gotten 14 days out of those fertilizers. So, and it takes, uh, well, if you've been farming, you watch my farming video, it takes a lot to make those life, life essences. It's not easy. Uh, it takes it takes a lot of time to make those uh, the because they're the best fertilizer and they last for days, you know, 14 days on a big plot, like 200 days in the, in the small plots. Like if you're growing cooking herbs or uh, cooking herbs or the clover for, with the uh, shrub seeds for mythical feed then one life essence is 200 days worth of fertilizer in a small plot, which is amazing. But I, because of that treant getting, uh, I was activating it whenever I came on, like once, maybe twice a day. My brother was activating it. Some of our other teammates were activating it whenever they came on, and it just destroyed my fertilizer. And it didn't give me any more resources. Like It didn't give us any more actual growing products or any more growing plants all it did was deplete my fertilizer okay so ice treants flyers what you want to do and this will be more of in-game mounts is the flare horn the flare horn is the best gatherer in the game or and again this this video is pertaining to the main island or the main world, not Gaia yet. Gaia has its own set of creatures and its own set of uh, preferred stuff, but that's not what this video is about. Flare Horn. Definitely need it. I could kick myself for not farming or for farming without it for so long. Like I just started farming with it this week. I mean, we've had it, and my brother's been saying, oh, yeah, you need to, you need to use it to farm. But, ah, it's just a pain in the butt, and I just don't want to deal because you have to carry it. Like we could, it can swim, or we can use our bridge, but it's slow. The Kibo and, and the Flare Horn are slow, and to get all the way up to the top of the mountain, I'd have to carry it. You have to use a, a wind rider. It was just a lot. Of, I thought it was a lot of hassle, and it wasn't worth it. It absolutely is freaking worth it. Like I should have been using it the entire time. Uh, so definitely, and this is probably you probably early mid game, like early like I'm talking when I say early mid game, I'm talking about maybe thirty. 30 to level 50, you can get one, a lower level flare horn and, and start leveling it up. Would be a good call. Would be a very good call for you to do that. Uh, the other in game, this is an in game mount, which is the the Wind Rider, which doesn't actually require a saddle to ride. So, what it is, is that it's an elite banshee in the plains. You have to trap the elite banshee and then it transforms after like hours it's this is a long time and i'll go over this more in my taming video that i'm going to do later uh, it takes a long time to do it, it takes a, a very long time to tame them but the elite so you'll have to find not a regular banshee but an elite banshee and then trap it and then eventually becomes the wind rider there are elite griffins that become uh, sacred griffins and we had one. We actually just lost it this week because of a uh, transfer bug. We we ended up losing our sacred griffin. But I didn't. 
it's care. I mean, it was good. It was a Griffin, so it was solid. It's carry it was solid. Health was solid. Attack was solid. Everything about it was good, but nothing about it was really great. It looked great, but practically nothing about it. Like this, the attack is high. The carry weight is high. The health is huge. The health was huge on the on the Griffin too, but I don't. Know, I just prefer the Wind Riders. Right, in game mounts. Definitely need that. Definitely need that. If you can get a Pegasus, uh, Pegasus is good for healing. So you can see I can activate recovery. Same thing with the Unicorn. It does it, just obviously it's not as good because this is the, the larger version of that. It uses up, if you can see in the bottom, it uses up the mana pool, the creature's mana pool to heal. Like my Zod earlier took about half damage from a Dark Wind Elemental and I healed it up with the Pegasus. So, and we have a, a unicorn inside that we use for like personally healing ourselves. So it heals, it's an AOE heal and it heals everything within that area. Did it heal? Yeah. Uh, right. So it's good to have, not necessary by any means. What is necessary is in game. You want to get it as early as you can. But definitely in game, what is necessary is an albino deer. This one's kind of in the wall a little bit. And I don't want to mess with it. But the albino deer gathers magic shards. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Oh, we we're almost out. But it gathers magic shards. So very very important. Oh, that I forgot. I forgot all about the goblins. You're gonna need a goblin because he can make. Goblin contracts and small goblin gizmos. You use this to level your goblin your goblin uh, knowledge. That's that's kind of an early. I forgot all about it because it's something I did so early in the game. But yeah, you can tame the goblins. The goblin contracts are good for the goblin uh, catapults, which are turrets. They're not that great. They're okay against animals, but I wouldn't recommend them being your main strategy. Or, uh, defense other so like there's just like some cool kind of niche things the uh, Cyclops I've actually never used it that's uh, teammates I forgot about the water elementals the water elementals I don't know they're supposed to water crops I don't think they do we tried it in the in the other area and it didn't work yeah, you're supposed to be an open irrigation and it keeps your crops water. I mean, I have a whole watering system, so I don't even need it. And we ha we had that at the other house where we're up on a mountain. We actually needed it because we didn't have direct water source and it didn't work. So maybe it, maybe it would work now and, or it didn't work, whatever. Because we didn't know what we're doing. That was possible. Which is one reason why I'm making these guides. So maybe try the water elemental if you're if you are really far away from a water source and you want to make a garden, which you need. I mean, farming is pretty important in this game. I think uh, definitely if you're going to make like mythic feed for to tame mythic creatures, then you need uh, farming plots. All right, I think that's all I have for this video. I can't really think of any other mounts that are important on this map. Off the top, uh, yeah. So if you, uh, make sure you hit the subscription button. If you have any questions, make sure you uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.